So bronchiolitis is a viral infection of the chest and is usually seen in children between two months to two years of age. Now in children with bronchiolitis, the virus leads to swelling inside the airways and production of excess mucus. And when that happens, the airways become narrow and it becomes difficult for the child to breathe. Bronchiolitis is caused usually by a virus known as RSV or respiratory syncytial virus. But in some situations, bronchiolitis can be secondary to other viruses such as influenza, para-influenza, adenovirus, and metanumovirus. In children who develop bronchiolitis, the initial symptoms are usually in the form of a cough and cold and fever, but gradually it can progress to involve the chest. Children can become a bit lethargic, difficult to feed, their breathing rate can go up, they can have some retractions here in the chest. And it, you can find that it becomes difficult for them to take their breathing. In some situations, the medical condition can go slightly worse and children might turn blue or cyanosed. They become extremely lethargic, difficult to arouse. Now, the, these situations require urgent medical attention and hospitalization. The diagnosis of bronchiolitis is made basically on clinical grounds. We can do a nasopharyngeal aspirate or a nasopharyngeal swab where we collect some secretions from the back of the nose and send it to the laboratory for detection of the virus. Chest x-rays are sometimes done to understand if there are any complications which are happening because of the bronchiolitis. Now children who have bronchiolitis, most of them can be treated at home, especially if the problem is mild. But if the problem is moderate or severe, children might require admission to a hospital. Sometimes if the problem is severe enough, admission to an ICU might be considered. The treatment of bronchiolitis is usually in the form of maintaining hydration with IV fluids, paracetamol for fever, and nasal saline drops to keep the airway patent. Bronchodilators are commonly used such as adrenaline, salbutamol, and hypotonic saline, but they are usually ineffective. In addition, steroids used either in the form of injectable, oral or nebulized again are usually not effective. So treatment is usually in the form of supportive treatment and children might require oxygen to maintain their oxygen levels more than 92. So in case your child is having symptoms of bronchiolitis, do get in touch with a pediatric pulmonologist for further opinion and management. Thank you.